Happy Friday, everyone. John 1.16 says that from Christ's fullness, we have received grace upon grace. That is undeserved kindness upon undeserved kindness. When we receive Jesus, we receive grace and having him in our lives enables us to be showered with grace in every aspect of our lives. The book of Judges in the Bible shows the direction of a nation that does not have God. In those days, Israel had no king and everyone did as they saw fit. Judges 21.25 the Bible calls this sin when we do as we please without considering him. Although Israel was in this state, there was a breaking point for them, and it was when a very violent act was committed against a Hebrew woman. It was despicable to the point that they went to war against the tribe that had committed the crime. And it was a tribe of Benjamin who also had fierce warriors. This time, Israel sought the Lord, and he gave them the go-ahead to fight Benjamin. On the first day, they lost 22,000 men, so they went back to God and cried to him. God said, keep fighting. On the second day, they lost 18,000 men. They cried to the Lord, and he said, keep fighting. They obeyed God, and on the third day, they were able to defeat Benjamin. However, they loved Benjamin as one of their tribes and didn't want this tribe eradicated, so they cried out to God again. They wanted to make sure there were women that they could marry so that the tribe wouldn't die out. And God was able to help them to figure out a way to do that. Now, there had to be punishment for the wrong that was done by the Benjamites. But in the end, there was a pathway to restoration and the rebuilding of the tribe. Romans 5, 20 to 21 says the same thing in a slightly different way. It says where sin increased, grace increased all the more. So that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace might reign through righteousness to bring eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Sin has caused us to lose our connection to God, but Jesus paid the penalty of our sin. So now we don't have to be separated from God no longer. Let's bring our sins to God and ask him to forgive us and restore us and give us grace upon grace through the blessing of Jesus and having him in our lives. God bless you and let's keep praying for our world.